hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is abby and today i'm going to be sharing my latest makeup favorites my everyday makeup routine pretty much the products that i've been using to help my face go from this to this so we're gonna get right into it i'm starting off always with my eyebrows and for my eyebrows i'm gonna use this emco beauty brow sculpt and set this has been my ultimate favorite for the longest i like to apply this on my eyebrows not too much of the product just enough to flatten out the hairs and give it a little bit of shape so that they won't move if you're using this product you might encounter a little white cast on top of your eyebrows but it goes away once it dries and then i like to follow up with whatever product i'm using for my eyebrows so lately what i've been using is the anastasia beverly hills dip brow this in the color ebony just a little bit of this product to fill in those empty areas of my eyebrows and give it just a little bit more shape So you see how it just darkens it a little bit? That's what I really like. And my eyebrows are not twins. They're definitely cousins, second cousins at that because they always wanna act super different and look super different. I recently came back from vacation, so I am a little darker than I typically am. So for my concealer, I'm gonna be using this Lancome Tant Ito Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This thing is so hydrating. It feels so good on the skin. And this is in the color 470. I like to take some from the brush that it brings and apply it to my brush like that. And then I just sculpt out my eyebrows. With this product, a little bit goes a long way. So I try not to use a whole bunch and it's such a smooth concealer too. So it definitely moves wherever you want it to move. Are they looking like something? Yeah, okay. I'm going to take a blending brush that has a little bit of density in it to go ahead and blend out the concealer. This, this is probably an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use that because it just helps the concealer blend out really nicely. See how quick that did that? And then right here in the middle, to avoid those harsh lines, I just take the brush and I go up and down. It's like when I'm trying the least is when my eyebrows come out the best. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go on with the rest of my face. So I like to prime my face, typically using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, but I am out of it. But my go-to backup lately has been, once again, Emco Beauty, their Hydrating Face Primer, Prep and Perfect. It is similar in consistency to the Power Grip Primer. It's just a little softer, but it does the work. So as you can see, I'm running out. I'm gonna take just a tad bit of that, place it around my face. This mustache is mustache ain't girl. <laughs> All right, next up is foundation. Now, like I mentioned, I just came back from vacation, so I am darker than usual. So I'm gonna be doing some blending of foundations today. Typically, my go-to has been the Lancome Ton Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. This is in the color 455W. This thing right here, formula, application, the lasting of the product, everything. Literally just everything about this foundation is chef's kiss. But if your budget is not Lancome available at the moment, I would definitely suggest using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, which is the one that I'm going to be using to mix with my Lancome right now because I'm a little darker. I'm in the shade 355 Coconut, but typically I'm 338. So I'm going to take some of this on an applicator brush as soon as I can find one. All of my brushes are dirty, by the way. I've been on the go. I need to clean my brushes. I don't suggest for you to do your makeup with dirty brushes, but we're going to get it how we live today, okay? Applying it a little bit everywhere. Both of these foundations are buildable, so if you wanted a more coverage type of look, you can go ahead and add more. And then I'm taking like, just like one little pump of this Lancome. 
and that's enough once i have my foundation on i like to use a dense brush to basically blend out my foundation before i used to do like this back and forth like stripe motion and i realized that what we need to do is tap that foundation into the skin so that it can be a better blend so that's what i've been doing because you really want it to be absorbed into the skin so that it can be a lot long lasting a lot more long lasting And once I feel like the foundation is nicely blended in, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing to conceal and contour my face. My go-to concealer lately has been this Fenty Beauty where even this one is in the color 385W. I like to take this concealer to brighten up under those eyes. This thing right here, Rihanna knew what she was doing when she created these products, okay? So I take just a little bit on the inner corner of my eye. Again, this is more of like an everyday look so i'm going very light-handed with the amount of product but when i want a more full coverage look i always add a little bit more i also add a little bit on my chin a tad bit on my forehead and then i'm gonna take my lasting fix setting powder by maybelline and i'm gonna let that sit in there for a little bit for my contour i'm also going in with some more fenty beauty we're using the matchsticks and this one is in the color espresso me encanta ese color it looks so good and i'm late to the game when it comes to this fancy beauty matchsticks <laughs> i've always been afraid to tap into more dewy or like cream type products for my contour because i still feel like a beginner when it comes to my makeup but this right here you want to use i use an angled brush and i go in and i pick up some of the product this way while this concealer is drying up a little bit and then i just swipe upward it's like a tap swipe going upward on my cheekbone oh, do you see do you see that like no contour just a tad bit of this matchsticks Then I'm gonna grab a beauty blender and I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out this concealer. And I swap between both eyes. So once I feel like I've blended a good amount on one eye, I take that beauty blender and bring it over to the next eye. And for me, this just feels like I'm spreading the product a lot more evenly between both eyes so it can look more uniformed. And I go like right outside of my eye because I'm gonna buff out the end right here that has a harsh line. I'm gonna buff it out into that contour. I've been learning a lot about my makeup routine and there are just some things that I needed to be a lot more gentle with, especially like blending out my concealer. I used to focus a lot on the inner corners of my eyes and it would look kind of crazy, so. Just take your time when you're blending out your concealer. Make sure that it's going in. And then for these inner corners right here by my nose, I take that same brush that I was using to blend out my concealer underneath my eyebrows to blend that out. Don't forget to contour your nose like I almost did. I like to take that and then I take the rest and put it underneath my eyebrows like so it's just the little things that give you that nice little effect so in comparison to this side you see how that gives it a little bit more definition I really like that so once all of my cream based products are on my face this is now when I'm gonna go in and kind of like set my concealer add some blush all that good stuff First thing I'm gonna do is set my concealer so that it won't move anymore because it's been moving while I applied everything else. If you need to go back in with your blending sponge, what is this called? Your beauty blender? <laughs> and blend out wherever you've gotten some creases underneath your eyes. To set, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I need to upgrade my loose finishing powder. Um, I've been using this for some years, but I want to try something else, you know? I'm going to be using this powder puff to go ahead and apply that loose finishing powder, but as you can see, it's a little bit dirty on this side. So I'm just going to flip it so we have a clean side, okay? I take some 
of my loose finishing powder and I don't like all this product so I kind of like spread it on my hand before I go in here to set it that way it's not so aggressive and cakey and sometimes I mess up as I go so I just go back in with more of my contour to fix right here okay I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Artist Blush. This is in the color Wherever Rose. For my brown skin girls, this blush right here. Okay. And I like to use a dense brush again. I tap it in and then I lightly, just lightly tap in here. And it's also buildable. And I like to bring it into my eye. It's so subtle, but like it's there. Mm, so cute. This Black Radiance True Complexions Contour Palette is also a staple in my routine. So I'm gonna take some of the contour on this because it's in powder form and just tap in and add in to the areas that I feel like needed to kind of set in that cream bronzer that I put. And I don't know who stopped using highlighter and why, but me, I'm gonna take some highlighter, place that on my nose, place that above that blush. It's giving. Just very lightly to help bring the face like that little shine that it needs. We're gonna set this before we add in our mascara and then we finish up with the lips. Mascara is going to be this Emco Beauty Waterproof Full Lash Mascara. This I only use at the bottom because I have mink lashes, which are struggling at the moment. But because I'm using minks right now, I only apply mascara to my bottom lashes. For my lips, my current duo that I can't get rid of is this Fenty Beauty Traced Out Lip Liner and also their Gloss Stick. The liner is in the color Cold Blooded. It has that perfect brown that I love to use. And this gloss stick is in the color Fenty Glow. Also, well, it's a little used, but uh, such a beautiful color. It brings the gloss together so nicely. Do you, do you see what I'm talking about? This combo right here. I can't get rid of it. It's so nice. And then when I want a little extra oomph in my look, I always like to take a shiny eyeshadow of any color. This I've been doing for years. I can't get rid of it. But I use this Winwood palette by Ashley Lee Cosmetics. It's a little beat up once again, but I have all these colors. My favorite to use is this bright green one or this pink one right here on my inner corners. So I'm just going to take a rounded brush like so. I'm gonna tap it in and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put it in the inner corner. I see. And I feel like it just it just brings the look together. It highlights the eyes, especially girls like me who have very small eyes. You need a little oomph, you know? So this is the final look. This is my go-to, pretty much what I've been doing. <sighs> From, I don't know, I feel like my makeup routine does not even change that much. If anything, I change my products and sometimes I change my process a little bit, but this has been working for me for the past couple of months. I've been upgrading my, my makeup products and using things that are a little bit more pricey, but that are more long lasting and that have a lot better ingredients in their formula. So I'm loving it. It's giving brown sugar. It's giving simple. It's giving not too much. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. All of the products that I mentioned will be listed below in the description box along with other details and other videos that you can check out. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye.